Hello, I am outside currently enjoying the sounds of the birds and the blue sky. It is a beautiful morning here and I just wanted to share with you week two of my renovation diary. I will talk a little bit each day after renovations are complete and show you the progress for that day. And just as a reminder, this is just a reflection about how things are going for me. And I am also sharing the progress of the renovations with you guys. And also, if you did not get to watch last week's, um, you can go back in the last video and you can watch the first few days of the renovation. So you can get caught up but I hope that you enjoy seeing the progress this week. So today is day five of renovations. I really needed the weekend to rest up. I enjoyed having that time just to rest. I am missing the rest of my house though. Um, it's later than usual today. Um, there were some hiccups, some mismeasurements and that kind of thing so we have a part to our cabinets that is not here yet we have some plumbing that will need to be moved um but i'm starting to see progress like my kitchen is starting to look like a kitchen again one of the walls had to um, be moved in my bathroom so that's kind of why there's like a skeleton wall there now what would you call i don't i don't even know what you call it just boards where wall will be um and so yeah, so I feel like even though it is a Monday and we just started back today, I feel like we've been at it all week. Um, but I know with renovations to expect setbacks, to expect things to happen. Um, they were supposed to come and measure for the countertops tomorrow, but I think that's gonna be put on hold until Thursday or Friday. So I'm not sure when that's gonna happen but they do have some cabinets to finish pinning up. Um, they need to move a door and there are some other things that need to be done. So hopefully that will be today, day two. And yeah, I am trying to, I'm sorry, Molly does this every time I try to do a reflection on here. She gets in her bowl and licks and eats. <laughs> she gets in her bowl and she eats every time I try to do a little, one of these little reflections. Um, I need to get back to editing. I wanted to do voiceovers, but I had to wait until they stopped for the day to do voiceovers. And I have maybe 10 minutes to do a little editing and then we have to go find dinner because obviously we're not eating here because um, we have no kitchen. But anyway, um, yeah, I just wanted to check on and give you guys an update for day five. I did have a relaxing weekend. We are experiencing hiccups, which are to be expected. Renovations are always an adventure. You cannot plan them out. Exactly. They never follow exactly as they're supposed to. And I knew this going in. So yeah, still no makeup today. I do have on like a, a decent outfit, I think, but no makeup. And my hair, my hair looks good. I got a good hair day today. Anyway, I will talk to you guys after renovation day six tomorrow. <music> Okay, so today is day seven of renovations around our home. Um, I 
cannot see a ton of progress today. Um, they did work a full day, um, but it was mostly moving some plumbing, moving some electrical work, that kind of thing. So it's not anything that is like highly noticeable when I kind of put the pictures at the end of this little entry. Um, but you can see that the wall was extended today. It just needs to be plastered in. The wall just needed to be extend extended just a little bit more. Um, they are coming back in the morning and they're going to finish. There's like three bottom cabinets that they have to put in. And so that will be done in the morning. And then they're going to come, the countertop people are going to come and they're going to measure for the countertops tomorrow. And then we will get our countertops, um, first, the, we will get our countertops at the beginning of next week, I think. Um, if all goes according to plan. Um, but I'm learning with renovations, all does not go according to plan. Um, I'm just really, I think yesterday it really hit me. And today I'm just really, really tired. Um, so if you are thinking about going through renovations or anything like that, I will tell you that you will feel tired. You'll feel or I do, I feel like um, I'm not always in the best of moods. I'm not my best self. <laughs> um, so, you know, it's like I could just cry at, you know, I'm normally not a crier, but I feel like I could just sit and cry for hours, not because anybody's done anything, just because I feel like sad. Um, and not sad because I'm in it. That seems really weird because I'm excited. I'm excited to get, you know, like to have my kitchen remodeled and I have my bathroom remodeled. I'm excited to see all the progress. It's just, I think I feel sad because I am in this room a lot and I'm in this room with the two dogs and they get tired of being in the room. And I just, I guess, um, it just kind of makes you feel like not really depressed, but kind of a little bit depressed. Um, you know, and then everything, you know, it's, it's just not all smooth, you know? And so I don't know. And I'm just one of those people, if I sit around, like, you know, even if I'm like editing a video or whatever, but I'm like sitting in one spot, I get really sleepy. And so like right now I need to go out and clean up from the work that was done today. And I feel so tired and I haven't done anything. I edited a video, I've done stuff like that, but I haven't done anything like where I have really used up energy. Um, so yeah, there's that. So like whenever I actually have the time to go out and do things, I like feel like I, I'm just tired. Um, so I guess maybe that's just the word to describe how I'm feeling on day seven and I'm just feeling tired. Um, but it's okay. You know, I, I'm, I will get through this. I'm so excited that I'm doing it. And like, I don't mean that I'm not excited that I'm not doing it because I am. There's just so many emotions that go through you constantly or through me constantly throughout the day. Like whether it is, is this decision, you know, like, did I, did I make the right choice with the tiles or did I make the right choice with the countertop? Whether it's like a fleeting thought about that or it's, you know, well, this was supposed to be done today and it's not done, you know, now we're behind schedule. And, um, so it's just those little things. So like your mind is just very busy thinking about things and, you know, it's really hard to like just sit down and concentrate on something. Um, especially whenever I have time to do that during the day and I'm in here and I'm with the dogs and like, I have time to like focus in on like one task, you know, but, um, it's like my brain is a thousand different places. So I am struggling with that, but overall it's still continuing to be, I'm remaining positive it is a good experience and I am very happy to do to have the opportunity to do this. Um, you know, we've saved up to do this, so I'm excited about it. And I'm excited to get a new kitchen and to have one soon. And I think everything's looking good and I think it's all gonna come together. I just have to trust the process. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want
thank you for my today is day seven of renovations we actually just completed day seven of renovations right yes day seven um it's so, like they're all starting to run together for me i am extremely tired like just i could just i feel like i just need to lay down and sleep for like 12 solid hours um but i did get to see some progress today they started putting the moldings on the cabinets and that is so exciting like i love the days that you can see like some progress and the man that is going to do our countertops came and got measurements for the countertops and those should be here on sorry about the chair rocking the dogs are going insane too they're going stir crazy like me um total sidetrack <laughs> the um the the guy is supposed to schedule to come and install these countertops on monday i cannot wait to get those i picked out this quartz and i cannot wait to see how it looks on the cabinets so overall today was a good renovation day um it's just that i'm tired but um, I'm pretty sure Friday is going to be an off day again. So that means that I can have a long weekend and re rest and recover. And yes, but I just wanted to update you. Things are going well. I'm very happy, very pleased. I'm going to show you the pictures. Just keep in mind when I show you the pictures that the contractor told me before he left that whenever he was putting up some crown like some of the molding on the cabinets of course he didn't finish he like kind of hit one so he has to fix it tomorrow so it won't be like that you know like i just feel like yeah, i need to say that you know because i feel like somebody's gonna be like um you've got like a little place there but no it will not be like that so yeah i'm really really excited plans are starting to come together and like I feel like I have it like somewhat of a kitchen. Like, no, I can't go in there and do anything. I don't have any appliances or anything like that, but like I'm sensing it. So I want to show you how everything is looking today. Myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my Today was day eight of renovations. Hi, Lily. Okay. Um, I think Lily, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, we're a little delirious in here. Okay, so today was day eight of renovations. Today um, went pretty well. Um, they, <laughs> I can't talk. I can't talk, hold on. Okay, so today is day eight of renovations. Today went well. They worked on rebuilding the wall in my bathroom. I'm not sure if I included this earlier this week. I think I... <laughs> oh my goodness. Today is day eight of renovations and today went very well. They worked on rebuilding the wall that they had to take down in my bathroom in order to accommodate the bathroom cabinets. They started adding crown molding to my cabinets in my kitchen and putting the moldings like in the floor back up and around the doors. And I really see things starting to come together. I am very excited. I don't know if I mentioned this yesterday, or not but i went yesterday just to verify the tile and to pick out the grout which um i'm gonna have to go back next week actually to pick out the grout um but the countertops are still going to be here on monday they are letting some stuff dry overnight and then come back and finish some things tomorrow afternoon 
So no three day weekend this week, um, but at least it's in the afternoon so maybe I can sleep in just a little bit. But I do want to say <laughs> to all of my acquaintances, to all, uh, I do want to say to all of you guys, if you message me and I don't return your message or if you call me and I don't answer my phone or whatever, it's not that I don't want to, I'm sorry, Molly, will you say you're sorry for looking at the camera? Um, it's not that I do not want to talk to you or message you back. It is that things are just crazy busy. To be stuck in this room, you would think things can't be that crazy busy. They're that crazy busy. And I get up so early in the mornings to get things done. Like I want to get my load of laundry done before they get here. I want to get the dogs taken care of in the mornings, get my contacts put in, all the stuff I have to do in the morning. So I get up really early in the mornings. Um, we have lunch outside every day, um, which is nice because you know, you need that outdoor time. And then it's kind of back in here and I have a little bit of downtime in the afternoons, but then I'm normally like trying to do some YouTube stuff, some editing, that kind of thing. And then as soon as the workers leave, I go into clean up mode and I clean and then we go out and grab something to eat for dinner. We get back, um, we walk, then I do my nightly things and then it's like, I am collapsed in the bed. <laughs> like, I'm not normally like this. And like this bed was so uncomfortable at first. I know like last week I complained about it all the time. Um, but it's, it's still not the most comfortable bed in the world, but it's so, it's so relaxing. I just, I love to get into this bed. And it's like, I lay down in this bed and I do not move for like six hours. I just sleep and then it's like I wake up and I repeat everything over and over. So, yeah. So anyway, that's one reason why if, if I seem to be MIA, um, I'm not really MIA, I'm not missing, but um, I just, it's hard for me to respond back to things sometimes. And I'm bad about that anyway, because you guys know I'm guilty sometimes of not responding back to comments on here, even though I'm trying really hard and I always try, it just, I get, it's just an area that I need to work on and improve. I'll, I'll admit it, you know, admitting the problem is the first step to recovering, right? So yeah, um, but if things are going well, I think things look good. I'm gonna include some pictures as always. I know it's getting harder and harder to tell, you know, like what's going on, cause you know, but um, I still want you guys to, you know, feel the whole process with me, um, do the whole process, take this whole journey with me. And again, I just want to reiterate that I am so excited to be doing this. And so like when I'm like, I'm tired, like it's not anything about like, I I'm happy about the renovations. It's just very, it's a new experience and I'm getting adjusted and my my body's adjusting to it and you know with having a chronic illness it takes a lot out of me um, and I am having really severe issues with my allergies and I really 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 want those to get better um, so that's causing me like and I just I don't know I'm having a lot of anxiety um, because I'm an anxious person anyway so throw all this on top of me and I'm really gonna have a lot of anxiety but overall today went well and I will see you back tomorrow for day nine you're my heart's desire I just want to love you just want to hold you just want to be with you till we grow old beside me you'll stay or take me away I want Every single day You set my world on fire You set my world on fire I just want you I just need you I don't know what So I just remembered that I forgot to close out this vlog for the week we ended up only having four renovation days and honestly that is good enough for me I think for 
is plenty, but I just wanted to say that there will be some additional changes next week and I'm so excited to share and share this progress with you. If you are new to my channel, I would love for you to become part of my growing YouTube family. Just click on that subscribe button. It is completely and totally free and I love it when you guys support me. And remember, take time to live, laugh, and love today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Love you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. What it is you do? I just want you. I just need you. I don't know what it is you